Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself. And happy Friday. Now, in this episode, I'd like to do something um, that uh, is sort of like a part two or a follow-up to what I did the previous Friday, um, because people seem to... Uh, seem to enjoy it. I got some messages, and I've also seen yet another question uh, appear uh, regarding two different exercises and comparing them. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Um, this time I want to compare two heavyweights. And now, bear in mind, this is just my personal opinion, but it is an educated opinion. This week, I want to pit the squat versus the deadlift. Now, while you should, as so long as you're able to, um, be doing both exercises for optimal gains and development, um, I do have an opinion on which of the two is better than the other, in my opinion. Again, I emphasize that, my opinion. Um, and which is that, you might ask? Well, to me, it's the deadlift. But, so let me break this down. The deadlift works everything from your lower back to your calves, forearms and grip, your glutes, hamstrings, lats, your middle back, your quadriceps, your traps. It works all hell of a lot. The squat works everything from your quads to your calves, your glutes, your hamstrings, and even your lower back. And both actually heavily engage your core for stabilization. Now, as you can tell, the deadlift, deadlift um, engages far more muscles than the squat, which uh, the squat primarily engages your lower body uh, muscles. Um, though if taken deep enough, the squat has a fuller range of motion in the deadlift, which I think should be, uh, should be noted. Um, I'd also suggest uh, with the deadlift, um, lower overall volume than with the squat. Uh, for instance, let's say that you're squatting a five by five style, basically. Uh, so five sets of five reps. Um, I'd limit the deadlift to one to three sets of five, as opposed to five by five. Um, this will put significantly less stress on your entire body, central nervous system, and recovery abilities, um, because the deadlift just zaps you that much. It just engages that much of your body all at once that it actually takes more out of you than the squat. Um, uh, but also, with the deadlift, uh, there really isn't a need for a spotter, so one could say that's a bit of a benefit. Whereas a heavy squat might warrant some form of precaution, whether it be a squatter or maybe pins in the squat rack to prevent, say, if you fall or have to drop from the squat, that you uh, don't crush yourself under the weight. <laughs> um, as I said before, I do recommend that you use both exercises for optimal development, Assuming that you haven't, ha you don't have some kind of a medical reason why this would be ill-advised. But um, due to how taxing both lifts actually are in their own rights, and what muscles they cross engage, uh, I also would suggest that separating them by at least 48 hours. For instance, if you were to squat on leg day and then deadlift on back day, I would put that back day later in the week away from your leg session. Um, and I certainly wouldn't do both in the same day because one or the other, whichever one's going to come second, uh, might actually suffer performance-wise due to the expenditure you've given the other one. Um, so really, that is um, that is about it. This was really just a video for fun, um, you know, comparing the two heavyweights. Really, in my opinion, if you if you want to. Uh, to discuss this, or if you have any questions, or maybe you want to disagree, or you want some, there's something you want to add, um, feel free to put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you all have a good weekend, and stay tuned for a uh, regularly scheduled Meatless Monday episode to come. Um, so, till then, stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic.